it's so beautiful this morning. The sun is finally starting to peek out through the redwood trees. We ended the night last night in the sanctuary with a very healing women's circle where we shared and we said out loud what was not being said for each of one of each one of us. And it was just very beautiful. Now it's time for dance and breakfast and coffee and then some embodiment photo shoots. Good morning. Yeah, I could have slept for another two hours, really? I think. Uh, yeah. Are you in the one right below me? No, but there's a bathroom below you. You probably heard the bathroom door. Oh, that's a bathroom? There's yeah, no sleeping no. there? I'm like right next door. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm right near Kat. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I thought someone was maybe below me, but I wasn't sure. It's probably, there's like a little restroom that we brush our teeth in, oh, like right there. Okay. So it's probably, you keep uh, seeing us. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's not too loud. No, no. I was trying to find you to take a picture, but... I was trying to find you. I'm right here. Mmm, mm, your hair smells so <laughs> good. What the, what are you... Oh my god. I put a little even? curling. Ooh. Oh, that's too nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sun's out. I know. It's going to be a beautiful day. I'm so excited. Same. So excited. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, I was like, do you want to get naked really quick? Yeah, where? In the forest. In the oh. sun. Oh. We have like five minutes. Oh yeah, what time? Nobody's even here. I think everybody's kind of showering. Have you seen Kitty this morning? Nope. She's probably dead asleep. I'm just kidding. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> just one more.
some ginger. Yeah. There's leftover chia pudding here. There's yogurt. There's dried apricots, blueberries, mm. apples. I mean, people need different things, but I do think that like a little pause between that and dinner is necessary, but it can feel like we're going to have a curry tonight for dinner. The vegetables will be perfect. Um, and sometimes it takes a moment to transition out of, you'll, I mean, we'll go into this more, but you can, but you can. <laughs> Just watch how it's not coming up. It's just like rocking. Yeah. It never comes, it never comes like up. The times that it would come up right now would be when I'm going back through. And when I'm going back through, same thing. What's my thumb doing? Where are my fingers? I'm right here. There. And I'm rocking. A little bit. Salt to it. Yeah, we we're in a cooking so class so and we're making loose. butter. It's not like a whipped cream yet, but it's like the perfect consistency to drizzle over something that's like kind of hot. Like I love a loose whipped cream for like a brownie or like a chocolate cookie or the peach situation. Oh. Butter is made from 100% heavy whipping cream. Also, why is butter yellow? The whipping cream is turning into butter. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh. There she is. Wow. wow. <laughs> In all of her glory. So when you add the salt and everything. Yeah. Or after. Whatever you want. In oh, it. Yeah. I'm going to take it back in here and I'm going to throw some chives and some sea salt. And that's mm -hmm. after you kneaded it in the ice water. Yeah. To yeah. Get the... And I'm still just kind of pressing out any like liquid because also water creates mold. Water create, makes things go bad. So you want it to be as dry How as long possible. Is it last? It's such a good question because I eat it before it would ever expire, but uh that's our oh my god. This is their gorgeous, gorgeous salad. Do you want some Ali? Yeah. Butter and bread. And this is quinoa being cooked in a pan. Exactly like what you're saying, like, oh yeah, like we can do this. I can trust. You. We're gonna be getting so much oxygen. <laughs> so much, so much oxygen. Beet roots, beet roots, hummus, hummus. Ha. Huh. <laughs> do the hummus dance. Do the hummus. Uh, we don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it. Yeah, yeah we've got enough veggies here. Look at this. Like this. We have a ton. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. laughing when it was cold. Okay. Spray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's like yeah. in a different suburb. Yeah. We're all kind of like. Oh, I'm like they fly. Fly off the shelves. Um, I mean, fly off the shelves. Probably, yeah, I do. How much are you charging for it? <laughs> Do a hike tomorrow. We 
had a pretty big morning at the retreat with our dance and breakfast and photo shoots and kitchen therapy. So we're on a little break now, just at the beach, close by, relaxing on our first sunny day. Our camera. Every time I see a camera, I just go into like the mode I was as a kid because my dad used to do home. I am in Mendocino, California at Van Dam Beach and it is so beautiful. We were able to just go in the water naked and lay out in tan. Nobody said anything, so maybe I'm meant to live here.
so far at this retreat, there have been, have been so many tears, so much healing, so much love and reverence for one another and nature. And it's just been a beautiful time. This is the first week long or multi-day retreat I've been on. And it's extremely special. And I'm feeling really grateful and grounded. And yeah, I'm learning a lot. Look at this seaweed. We just had a pretty powerful breathwork session with Kat and she is definitely an amazing facilitator. Um, I really struggle with breathwork as I get a lot of memories and triggers to ayahuasca and hyperventilating and um, this time I brought up really hyperventilating a year ago in a past relationship that I was trying to leave and then going into a full panic attack and I was just remembering some of those things but it's definitely powerful work and people got a lot out of it and I'm excited to be able to dive into it at some point more fully but yeah it's a pretty intense practice and definitely still a lot coming up around panic and fear and overcoming fear and stress and anxiety and these things that I think are something of the past and then they come up again and then I get kind of stressed around the fact that I have stress and that it's not good to have that because it perpetuates itself. But there was a process at the end of breath work where we kind of walked through this golden circle of light and met our higher self. And that was a comforting experience knowing that everything is going to work out and be okay. And there's a huge, huge slug. Right here, we're about to have dinner and just wind down. Wow, that guy is like almost as long as my foot. It's crazy. Also, being at the beach today was so incredibly healing and really rejuvenating for me just to lay naked in the sand and in the sea, even though it was cold. And during the breathwork journey, we were asked to just go to a place in nature mentally that is our most happy place and I just immediately was transported to laying in the sand and in the ocean and made me realize that that's definitely where I love being. So lots of epiphanies, it's been a very big day, lots of healing, so many tears, so much sharing and yeah, wow.